Hello there, I'm Michelle Emerson and I love helping teachers with all things technology, organization, and productivity. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a tutorial for using Adobe Creative Cloud Express to create a video project. In case you're not familiar with it, Adobe Creative Cloud Express is a web-based creation tool and app that can be used by educators and their students to create graphics, presentations, videos, web pages, and more. There are tons of free templates, fonts, music, and photos available, plus it is free for K-12 schools and districts. Yeah, free. Let's jump right into the tutorial. As I mentioned, there are a ton of different types of projects you can create using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Once you get to the homepage, you will see some of those basic suggestions. You also can scroll down and you can see even more templates such as posters and flyers. I'm gonna just quickly show you how to trim a video. So if you are creating any type of instructional video for your students and let's say you mess up at the beginning or end, instead of refilming the entire thing, you can just trim it. I'm gonna select trim video. Another window is going to pop up. I can then drag and drop a video or browse. I'm gonna go ahead and use a screen recording that I have on my computer. So once I've selected that screen recording, it is now going to upload. Then I can just drag the bar at the bottom in order to trim the video, or I can type in an exact time that I want the video to start and end. If I want to, I also can resize it. I also could mute it if I wanted to. Once that video is done uploading and I've trimmed it down to the size, I have the availability to now download the new video. I'm just gonna click download. It will take a few seconds to process and then I have a trimmed video. Next, let's talk about creating a project because I always loved having my students create something after they learned a new topic or completed research. I always wanted to give my students choices and Adobe Creative Cloud Express is perfect for that because there are so many different types of projects students can create. Students can start their project using any of these templates here on the homepage. They can create it using a custom size, or once again, they can click that plus sign and they can see all the different types of projects they can create. I'm gonna walk you through how to create a video because I feel like students all want to be YouTubers now. So after clicking that plus sign, I'm going to select video. It's gonna ask for a title. Toward the end of the year, my students were always researching renewable energy sources such as solar power. And I loved for them to create like PSA videos or public service announcements. So I'm gonna title this solar power PSA and I'm gonna click next. It gives me some basic video templates to choose from, but I can always start from scratch if I want to. Since this is a PSA video, I'm gonna use Promote an Idea, and I'm gonna click Pick This One, and that's going to generate my template. So now you will notice down at the bottom, it already has a basic outline for my video. So having the solution and the reward and the call to action. I love that this gives students a basis to work off of, but you can always assign students a template that you have created yourself if none of these pre-made templates work for your needs. I wanna start by doing an overview of the toolbar in the right, because I feel like this is the main area you will be using when you're creating your video. First of all, you have the layout. So right now we have a full screen, but I also could choose a split screen. So maybe a photo on one side, text on the other. I can have a large photo with a caption or title and text. I'm gonna go ahead and select split screen for this first one. Next, I'm gonna select the theme. This will allow me to choose between different color and font options, but students can always create their own brand, which might be a great way to kind of introduce them to Creative Cloud Express, let them play around and create their own brand, then they can actually use that within their video. But I'm gonna use this one right here. Next, I have the resize section. This will allow me to choose between widescreen, which I have right now, or square. I'm gonna go back to widescreen. And then you also notice I have a music section. So there are tons of options of music that are already in here that students can use, but they always can add their own as well. While we're at it, let's go ahead over the bottom section. I can always add a slide to my video by clicking the plus sign here, or I can delete a current slide by clicking the three dots, choosing delete, or I can duplicate a slide. So once I have it formatted the way I want, I can just create a copy of that exact slide. Okay, let's go ahead and start creating this video now that we've gone over the basic tools. I wanna have a picture and some text. Since this slide is all about the setting, I'm gonna add some text over here on the left. I'm just gonna click the plus sign and choose text. 
And I'm going to say if you live in Texas, you might love the sun and hot summers, dot, dot, dot. I can then increase the text size by clicking that T with the little plus sign next to it or decrease it with the minus sign. And on the right, I wanna add a photo. So again, I'm gonna click the plus sign and then choose photo. And what's great is students can search through tons of Adobe stock images and they've all been filtered out so you don't have to worry about anything inappropriate coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and search Texas and maybe find a picture of the flag that I can insert. Okay, I'm gonna search Texas flag. <laughs> That'll work. Got the Capitol building, insert that in. Perfect. So you will notice down at the bottom, I also have this recording button. So students can record audio of them actually reading any of the text they have on that slide or reading text in addition to what they have on the slide. I'm just gonna go ahead and record myself reading the text that's right there. So I'm gonna press and hold while I record. If you live in Texas, you might love the sun and hot summers. Okay, now that it has recorded the audio, you will notice down in the bottom right corner, the time that that slide will appear has actually lengthened to six seconds in order to accommodate the audio recording, but you can have up to 30 seconds per slide. Next, I'm gonna move on to the problem. So I'm just gonna select the next one. And once again, I want this to be a split screen, but this time I'm gonna flip flop. Cause I want, I want the picture on the left. So let's do a photo and let's do electric. Cause I want this, the problem is that the electric bill is too high. This will work. And then on the right, I'm gonna add in some text. So I'm clicking the plus sign, selecting text. So I'm gonna continue my dot, 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 but you probably don't love your expensive electric bill. Once again, I'm going to increase the text size. Okay. So if I want to, I can always click this button in the middle and it will swap my items from one side to the other, but I like it this way. So I have some, you know, difference. And then once again, I could record myself reading that if I wanted to. Next, I'm going to move on to what could be. And this time I'm going to do the caption layout option and let's do a photo and I want some money. <laughs> as the background. That will work. And now I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'm gonna type in my text. What if you could actually get paid instead of paying for your electric? Notice it's automatically resizing my text as I continue typing. So instead of two seconds, I need this to be a little bit longer. Let's do six seconds is good, okay. Next, I'm gonna move on to my solution or idea. Let's go full screen. And this time I'm just gonna add some text. Solar power is a renewable energy source that harnesses power from the sun. That looks pretty good. And I might want to actually add in a new slide, so I'm gonna click the plus sign, and maybe this one I want to have video in the background. So maybe I'm gonna actually record an explainer video that where I just kind of give all the details about solar power. I could record that ahead of time and then just upload it from my computer. Okay, moving on to the reward. Let's go split screen on this one again, and let's add text. So the reward is if your solar panels collect more energy than what your house uses, you can even sell it back to electric companies. Okay, on the side, I want a photo of some solar panels. So I'm gonna type in solar panels. Perfect, let's do this one. Once again, I might make this one a little bit longer, but once I record that audio, it would automatically adjust to fit the length of the audio. But for now, we'll put it at seven seconds. So then I continue to go on my how you can help. I could talk about how to get solar panels actually installed. What I love under the credits is it automatically inserts in credits for any photos or videos or music that you have added into your presentation. But students, of course, can add in additional credits as well. So now that students have created their video, I've walked you through the steps, I do wanna go over that top toolbar. So first of all, the preview button. This is gonna allow you to preview your video. Texas, you might 
and there is me reading my audio. So we're just gonna pause that. <laughs> From here, once I have previewed it, I have the availability to share or download it, but I'm gonna go ahead and exit out because those buttons are in the top toolbar as well. If I click on share, I can publish the video. I can invite specific people to view it. So this is a great way for students to share it with you. They can just invite you through their email. I can send it to Google Drive. I can share it to Google Classroom or share it to Microsoft Teams. Let's say you're using a different LMS and maybe it's not integrated with Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Students can always go to publish. Then students have the availability to actually create a link for their video, which they then could share on any LMS. Also, students can always download it. So if you click download, it will take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how long the video is. And students could then upload that MP4 file to any LMS. This is where students could enter in your email address to invite you to view it, or they can always invite in other group members if this is going to be a group project. The last thing I do want to show you is that these projects are saving automatically. So you don't have to worry about losing your work at any time. You can always come back to the homepage, click on projects, and you will see any projects that you have created listed there. You can always go back in and edit them. Again, I want to thank Adobe so much for sponsoring this video and for providing such a great free tool for educators and their students. As you can see, Creative Cloud Express is extremely user friendly and has so many applications for the classroom. Again, it is free for K-12 schools and districts. So I will provide a link for the Getting Started Guide so you can create an account. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.